On January 8th, 2005, Dave Shaw would attempt the deepest underwater body recovery in history, trying to retrieve the body of a diver who had gotten trapped in the deepest underwater cave in the world a decade before, known as Bushman's Hole, when something unexpected would happen at the bottom. Dave Shaw was one of the most elite divers in the world, and on an attempt to bottom out Bushman's Hole, which was the deepest cave in the world, on just a rebreather, he stumbled across a human body that had been lost there a decade before. A diver named Dion Dreyer had been on a dive in Bushman's Hole and it disappeared and his dive team was able to use a underwater sub to locate his helmet, but his body was never able to be found. Shaw, knowing this, swam over to the body and tried to lift it up, but his air tank and everything was stuck in the mud, so he tied a rope line around Dion's body in order to retrieve it later. When he finally surfaced about eight hours later, he removed his mask and said, I want to try to take him out. So on October 30th, 2004, he called Dion's dad and said, I will go fetch your son out. And his father said, yes, absolutely. Yes, please. So at 6 a.m., Dave Shaw and his partner, Don Shirley, start descending onto the body. Don's equipment had failed the night before, so only Dave was able to actually go the full distance. Setting a record pace going down to 885 feet in 11 minutes, he gets upon Dion's body and starts going to work. Now at that depth and with that pressure, narcosis starts kicking in, which feels like you have about four or five martinis. Once Shaw reaches Dion's body, he starts to pull out his body bag and move his body into it. They were going to use this to float him up to the surface. But this is when something unexpected happens. As he goes to move the body, it starts floating. They assumed his body was just skeletal bones, but what ended up happening is his wetsuit had mummified his flesh. And it's a lot easier to put somebody in a body bag when they're still, but when they're floating around and at 885 feet deep, it's almost impossible. So Dion's there fighting for about two minutes trying to get this body into this bag. It's floating all over the place, and all of a sudden his lines get all tangled up while he's down there. At four minutes in, the narcosis amps up to about six to seven martinis deep. He loses his footing, clouds of silt fly up, and he just begins focusing on just getting the body instead of the plan, which is to get out of there. After about five and a half minutes, he begins to surface because he knows he's in trouble. On his way up, his breathing is intensifying. He's grunting, it's strenuous down there, and all of a sudden he gets stuck. His cave light had wrapped around the tank that was stuck in the mud below Dion's body. He begins grunting and grunting and pulling harder and harder, and next thing you know, he begins to black out and he passes away. Members of the team try to get down there, but with the broken equipment, they couldn't even make it but 800 feet, so they were still stuck away from him. His partner, Don Shirley, almost dies in the attempt, and he has to be in a decompression chamber for months. A few weeks later, Peter was trying to retrieve all their equipment from the dive lines when he noticed Shaw's body was on the ceiling. I guess pulling the lines up had actually caused Shaw's body to float to the surface, which is where they retrieved the camera footage and found out exactly what had happened.